Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate. Today I wanted to go over some 2024 bookish goals that I have, some ideas and aspirations I want to work towards in 2024. I do also have a little bit of, I guess, comparison slash recap that I'm going to do for my 2023 goals. Starting off with, I guess, the most obvious one would be my actual, like, book goal. And I'm going to kind of just use my Goodreads goal for this because that's the only thing that I'm overly like is my little tracker. So last year for Goodreads, I set the goal of reading 80 books, which for me was extremely ambitious. At the end of 2022, I got back into reading and was really feeling that early. And I kind of, when I set my 80 book goal, I set it out with the idea of reading 40 physical books and then 40 manga. So that way it wasn't actually kind of like 80 whole books. On my Goodreads, I do include manga, audiobooks, graphic novels, all of that stuff. So like all of that is included in the goal. So it isn't just books. So I smashed this goal. I read 140 things exactly last year. And I do have like a little breakdown of what they kind of were in the formats. I have my iPad here that's like kind of shining a light up on my face and it's not a great look. Out of those 140 books, 56 of them were physically read books. And by this, I mean that I read them with my eyes so some of them were kindle books but some of them were like my actual physical tbr 34 books were audio and then i had eight books that were mixed between the two and then i read 42 volumes of manga i managed to read the 40 volumes of manga but i smashed the book goal so i'm really happy with that so for 2024 i've decided to set my goodreads goal at 150 so this is more ambitious um and it's also more than i read last year but it's not 150 books. Again, I have this idea where I have split it. So I want to, again, read 50 physical books, not just the books that I own physically, but like a Kindle book and stuff like that. As well as I, next year, I really want to put a focus on reading down some of my physical manga TBR. I don't have that like registered anywhere. I know roughly how many physical books I have, but I'm not quite sure how many physical manga I have, but I want to read at least 100 of my physically owned manga. Some of these will be rereads of the ones I have read before, but so I can carry on with the series. I don't actually think that's too ambitious because it's only like two a week and it's only, they only take me about an hour on average to read for one. So I think I can do that. When you break my 150 goal down, I think like that, it seems more achievable. And also that doesn't include anything that I listen to audio so I potentially will surpass that but we shall see. Since I managed to read in 2023 56 physically read books I think I'll have no issue reading 50 physical read books so I think both of those goals are quite attainable and something I really do want to push myself to do but also enjoy myself while I'm doing as well so anything audio and anything on top of that will be really fun. When breaking down now some of the books that I want to read I do have a few little subcategories that I want to hit so one is one that I did do last year which I actually was successful on which was to read six classics. I think I read seven or eight classics classics last year um, but I want to do that again I want to read six classics I actually think I have about eight physical classics that I own that I have yet to read so I'd love to read six of those ones I do own War and Peace um I don't know if I'm going to read that this year but that that's that's a possibility but I'm not quite sure about that one I am also doing a 12 books to self-destruct in 2024 so 12 read Lauren Hall books I made a video about that which I will try and link in the cards I've never done that before so I don't know how it'll work but I will try so I have these 12 books that I will want to read in the year and then I have three other kind of categories of wants to read that don't really affect my kind of physical red goal or my manga goal and that is I want to read six Kindle Unlimited books, I want to read 12 Kindle Unlimited manga and I also want to read four indie books this year. I've read very limited indie books but I really would like to read more indie books in the future so I mean those are probably also going to kind of coincide with the Kindle books because I imagine most of the ones I'll read will be on Kindle Unlimited so like some of those will go together. The Kindle manga won't go in with my physical manga but you know it will add all to the overall total. With all of that stuff together I think 150 is quite manageable so there's some of the other like little subcategories that I want to do when it comes to like reading what different categories and different genres and stuff and then the last kind of thing in terms of like different reading categories of books is that I would like to read all of the books that I buy in 2024 pre-November so anything brought up to the 31st of October, I would like to actually read this year. I am putting down a big focus this year on reading my physical TBR, but also more importantly on not buying books. I'm also going to make a bit of effort if there's a book that I'm really interested in to maybe try and get it out from the library first. I did do this last year with a few series that I listened to completely on audio. audio. So like for instance, uh, the Shadow of Bone series, I listened to on audio, the um, Cruel Prince series, I listened to audio. So like I did do that start to do that, but I really wanted to start to do it a bit more. So if I think, oh, I really want to read that book, see if my library has it, try and get it out from my library, try and see if Kingdom Unlimited has it you know try and do these options before buying it i'm gonna have to keep an eye on this because obviously i don't want to get to october look back and realize i've bought 50 books and try and have to read them all in three months we don't want to do that so i'm going to be keeping an eye on it month by month but that's also i think a nice goal to have to really try and restrict my buying this year i do really want to put a focus on not spending as much money on books when i have so many books that i want to read on my physical tbr but also taking advantage of 
the library and then borrow a box through my library where I can listen to audiobooks. So yeah, so that's kind of the last of like the book specific goals. And now I have a few other goals that go, they're still related to books, but like they go into like other little categories. So the next category is kind of about series. So I kind of have two series related goals. The first one is to continue or to finish all of the series that I kind of currently have ongoing that I'm definitely sure I want to read as of at the moment. I have made a little graph in my like reading. I have a little digital reading journal and I have made this little graph for it. I apologize, my handwriting is a bit crap. So this has um, a list of all of the series that at, of the moment that I'm currently in the middle of, most of which I own some more of the series and like ones I'm actively interested in carrying on with. So those are the 13 series that I'm currently reading um, that I have like an active interest in. There's a few more that are kind of like floating around that I'm unmoving on R and over. But these 13 in particular for this goal, I want to carry on or finish, which is only technically 13 more books to do it all because then I could just hit all of them. But some of them, obviously like The House Training Dragon and The Six of Crows, I would finish with one more book. And some of them I'm really excited to read. Actually, most of them I'm very interested in reading. So yeah, that's one goal for my series goal. And then I also have the goal for 2024 to start four specific new series. Now these are all series that I have owned for an extremely long time. Most of them definitely over five years, one of the two of them potentially like almost 20 years. I'd say definitely 15 years, maybe maybe 15 to 20 years I've owned these two series. So these series are uh, the Maze Runner series. I have four books of this, so I want to at least start it. I definitely bought these in like a bundle pack from the works well over five years ago, so I want to get cracking on them. The Divergent series, again, I have four of these books. I bought the original trilogy from the works in a bundle pack years ago and have never read them. I've also never watched the movies, so like I'm going to be completely new to this series so I'm quite I'm gonna look forward to actually reading it and then the two series is that I've owned for definitely 15 years potentially up to 20. Uh, the first is the Keys to the Kingdom series this is by Garth Nix and I had was reading his other series at the time I'm not sure what it's called but I own them it's like say, I don't know how to say the the titles of the books it's like Sabriel, Lyra, Rao and Epporson I think is how you pronounce it that series I was reading that series and so then I saw this other series by him and so I bought five volumes from this series I think there's seven in total and I've never read any of them and I've definitely had them probably about 15 years so I want to at least read the first one to see if I even like the series and want to continue it and then the last one is the one that is potentially my longest owned books on my TBR I feel like I got them in 2004 just after the third movie had come out and that is the Lord of the Rings series. I got really into Lord of the Rings just after the second movie came out and I and so I went to see the third movie in cinema. So I've like been a really big fan of this series for 20 years like I've read The Hobbit and I've watched all the Hobbit movies and I am only unpopular group of people that actually really liked the Hobbit movies but I really like this series so I really want to read the books. I do think I'm going to end up using an audiobook for them because I have tried to read the books in the past and I don't know how much I vibe with um, Tolkien's writing but his writing sometimes is quite a bit dry. I have found from when I read it before but I also think I was quite young so I might actually really like it now as an adult but yeah I might end up re listening to the audiobooks to help me with them especially the ones I think narrated by Andy Serkis I think would be really good but yeah this is one series I absolutely want to start this year. Those are the two different like series goals I have. I do also have the additional goal I think where I don't want to get more than 20 ongoing series. Actually I think I want to say 15. I don't want to have more than 15 ongoing series by the end of 2024. I want to keep my series to between 10 and 15 series because that I think is manageable. I know some people on YouTube I've seen some people that have an insane amount of series ongoing and I would not be able to like keep them separated in my head so I think where I'm at, at the moment is good so I'd like to stay around here so which means obviously starting these four I would need to at least finish another two. I have finished a few series in 2023 so I think that's manageable so that's my series goal and so then I also have like three kind of reading challenges that aren't really related to books but are more to do with like prompts and stuff so the first one is I want to do A to Z of reading but this time with authors names. I tried to do it in 2023 for book titles and failed miserably so I want to try and do 2024 but I want to do authors names this time and I'm going to give myself the freedom to do first or last names. I won't do middle names or anything. So like I can use, say for instance, Diane Wynne Jones. I could use that for a D or I could use it for a J. I'm not going to let myself double up so she can't be used for both D and J, but I'm going to like give myself the freedom, especially in like the first half of the year to go for either or. And then we'll see how we're getting on. And if I want to then like double up and try and do a first and last name for the same letters, I, I will. I want to do that just as like a fun added challenge. It doesn't really it doesn't really do anything it's just kind of something fun to track and then I also have two reading year-long challenges that I'm doing here on YouTube and that is Buzzwordathon this was created by Kayla from Books on Lala it's very popular I want to do this again I tried to do it in 2023 and I think I got to about May and then that was it and then I also want to do the read your bookshelf challenge by Chantelle Reads All Day again I tried to do this in 2023 and I don't even know how far I got those are two challenges that I want to try and do every month I will say I do just want to kind of do the 12 prompts in order I am going to aim to do them every single month but if I fail one month I would just add 
it on to the next month and just still work down in the correct order and not put too much pressure on myself that if I like miss February, so that's it, I failed. I failed the whole challenge because you know, it's not, no one's tracking it. No one's keep, you know, no one's like hounding me for it. It's just something that I'm kind of tracking for myself and doing for myself. So if I don't manage to do it in February, in March, I'll just try and do two. So that's pretty much all of like the solid kind of goals that I've kind of set myself this year for like bookish content. I do say one thing I just want to do, which isn't really a goal, it's just more of a thing that I'm going to be thinking about, is I want to DNF more. And I think I want to soft DNF things. So like if I'm really not vibing or gelling with something, just put it down. And because sometimes maybe I'm just not in the right mood, maybe I'm feeling something different and maybe I'm not vibing with it. But most of the time I feel like I probably just won't pick it up again. And if I have no desire in like two months to pick that book up again and then maybe just like DNF it properly, I think I would have really benefited in 2023 from doing that for some books. I made myself read some books that took me longer than they should have and then just felt like kind of like meh, not with reading after them. So yeah, I think I'm going to start trying to soft DNF. So that's just like a little added thing that I'm going to be trying to do for myself. That is pretty much all the bookish goals I have. I don't really have many channel goals, but I am interested in 2024 in getting more consistent with posting. Eventually the goal is to do one a week. There's gonna be a bit more in January while I'm kind of catching up and then hopefully not keep you posting like my wrap ups two or three months late. I wanna get consistent every week. And I think Wednesdays at the moment is my idea for a video. I think I like Wednesday because it's my gonna be my day off from work and uni. And yeah, so Wednesday potentially, but that's probably not gonna be until February because I think January is gonna be a bit more for catching up. Um, So yeah, one video a week minimum is where I'd like to be. But I also think I really, goals that I have that I am slowly starting to work on is to get my involved more in like different bookish communities. I'm trying to comment more on people's videos and also like really try and make sure I'm responding in a more timely manner to say comments that I get. I will be honest, I have like a little bit of social anxiety when it comes to interacting with people online, which I feel like is the reverse for most people. I think people that have social anxiety struggle more in person um, and find it easier online. I'm kind of the opposite. I kind of am a bit easier in person, but struggle more online because I think there's that because I can't see people and I can't always inflict my writing as much. So I worry a lot that it will like get taken the wrong way or not come across the way I want it. So I do have that like little thing in my head, but I'm going to try really hard on working on it so that I am not like leaving comments like too long without responding. Also so that I am commenting on people people's videos because I watch so many people's bookish videos and do not comment as much as I really would like. So yeah, I do definitely want to do that more in 2024. And also yeah, join in with some readathons and some read-alongs and book clubs and that kind of stuff. So all of that I'm hoping to do. I will say I probably will be doing more of that actively post May, so from June onwards, because I finished my undergraduate degree in May and I imagine through February through May I have to do like a whole animated short. It doesn't have to be long, my, mine I think is going to be about a minute and a half, but like it's going to be a lot more work than I've done probably for the rest of my uni career so yeah it's gonna be like a long time so I, I'll see how it goes but that is the plans and intention I don't think I've forgotten anything if I have when I look back on this I'm sure I will edit it in but yeah so those are my bookish goals those are my channel goals and yeah I'm just looking forward to 2024 I am someone although it's like I guess cliche but I'm someone that loves a new year I love a new year the fact that this new year is a new year new week new month brings me so much joy and yeah I just am very always find myself extremely like motivated and going at the beginning of the year and so I'm trying to put in little steps to make that so it's a year-long thing and not just a month thing. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you again hopefully soon. Bye!